Azuki beans. What are they? Where do they come from? And why am I such a weeb? The Azuki bean, or red mung bean, is spelt Azuki, usually pronounced and transliterated Adzuki, except for when it's Aduki, because all languages are broken. You might not have ever heard of Azuki beans before, but Japan freaking loves this crap. It was one of the first crops in Japan where they were like, hey, this bean tastes better than that bean. Let's kill the bean that tastes worse and keep growing the better tasting bean. And that is basically how human civilization can exist. In 1998, Japan grew 100,000 tons of them. And in 2006, Japan consumed 140,000 tons, requiring the country to import a lot of Azuki beans from nearby countries such as China and Korea but it's also grown in Taiwan, India, South America, and the U.S. Wow, doesn't it get cold? Yes. To grow, it needs temperatures between 60 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit. It needs about 50 degrees to germinate, though 80 to 90 degrees is optimal. In places where the Azuki bean is grown, it rains about 20 to 70 inches a year. Wow, that's a large range, ranging from basically nothing to a whole lot. It is traded as a commodity on the Tokyo Commodity Exchange. The price, I think, is 13,550 yen, about $127, for about, I think, 3,000 kilograms. The Tokom website is confusing. The Azuki beans are commonly eaten and sprouted, sometimes used in a hot tea-like unspecified drink, possibly tea. In Japan, rice can be cooked with adzuki beans for happy occasions. Adzuki beans, along with any other type of bean, are sometimes covered in sugar after dipping it in syrup and drying it and calling it amanato. Adzuki beans are used in ice cream sometimes, like the whole bean. In 2009, Pepsi Japan released adzuki flavored Pepsi. Supposedly, it smelt horrible but tasted decent but not like Pepsi. Most often, though, the bean is boiled with sugar, resulting in what is known as red bean paste. You can get different types of paste depending on what you do with the beans before and after boiling. For example, one recipe has you mashing the beans and then diluting it into a slurry-like liquid, then straining it and squeezing it dry with a cheesecloth. Or, you can calmly remove the husks before boiling the beans and then mash it again afterwards. Red bean paste is used in a dozen of different dishes. Like, way too many than I should list here. And Mitsu Anpan Daifuku Danko Doraki Manju Oshikatayaki Yokan Donut.